When an object or person falls from a great height, they are pulled towards the surface of the earth by the force of gravity. As the object or person falls, they accelerate, meaning they move faster and faster towards the ground. However, the air resistance or drag force pushes against them, slowing them down. At some point, the drag force becomes equal to the force of gravity, and the object or person stops accelerating. This is called terminal velocity, which can be different for different objects depending on their shape, size, and mass. Terminal velocity for a human falling through the air is around 120 miles per hour, or about 193 kilometers per hour, which is far too fast to safely reach the ground. This is where a parachute comes in. A parachute increases air resistance due to its shape and size, creating a larger surface area for the air to push against. This slows down the person or object's descent, allowing them to land safely on the ground. Okay, let's go through it one more time. When a skydiver leaps from a plane, they initially accelerate due to the force of gravity. As they fall, air resistance gradually increases until it balances with the force of gravity and the skydiver reaches terminal velocity. At this point, the skydiver deploys their parachute, which increases air resistance and slows their descent, allowing them to land safely on the ground. Try designing and making your own parachute to slow the fall of small objects. Use a stopwatch to time the object's fall. Thanks for watching. Worksheets relating to this short video can be downloaded by creating a free account at ngscience.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the NG Science YouTube channel to never miss a video.